Chapter 12 of the Book of Acts Translated by John Nelson Darby This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Aaron Holtstrand Chapter 12 At that time Herod the king laid his hands on some of those of the assembly to do them hurt, and slew James, the brother of John, with the sword. And seeing that it was pleasing to the Jews, he went on to take Peter also. And they were the days of unleavened bread, whom having seized he put in prison, having delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep purposing after the Passover to bring him out to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in the prison. But unceasing prayer was made by the assembly to God concerning him. And when Herod was going to bring him forth, that night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and guards before the door kept the prison. And lo, an angel of the Lord came there, and a light shone in the prison, and having smitten the side of Peter, he roused him up, saying, Rise up, quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. And the angel said to him, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And he did so. And he says to him, Cast thy upper garment about thee, and follow me. And going forth he followed him, and did not know that what was happening by means of the angel was real but supposed he saw a vision. And having passed through a first and second guard, they came to the iron gate which leads into the city, which opened to them of itself, and going forth they went down one street, and immediately the angel left him. And Peter, being come to himself, said, Now I know certainly that the Lord has sent forth his angel and has taken me out of the hand of Herod, and all the expectation of the people of the Jews. And having become clearly conscious of what had happened, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, who was surnamed Mark, where were many gathered together and praying. And when he had knocked at the door of the entry, a maid came to listen, by name Rhoda, and having recognized the voice of Peter, through joy did not open the entry, but running in reported that Peter was standing before the entry. And they said to her, Thou art mad. But she maintained that it was so. And they said, It is his angel. But Peter continued knocking, and having opened they saw him and were astonished. And having made a sign to them with his hand to be silent, he related to them how the Lord had brought him out of prison. And he said, Report these things to James and to the brethren. And he went out and went to another place. And when it was day, there was no small disturbance among the soldiers. What then was become of Peter? And Herod, having sought him and not found him, having examined the guards, commanded them to be executed. And he went down from Judea to Caesarea, and stayed there. And he was in bitter hostility with the Tyrenians and Sidonians. But they came to him with one accord, and having gained Blastus, the king's chamberlain, sought peace, because their country was nourished by the kings. And on a set day, clothed in royal apparel, and sitting on the elevated seat of honor, Herod made a public oration to them and the people cried out a god's voice and not a man's and immediately an angel of the lord smote him because he did not give the glory to god and he expired eaten of worms but the word of god grew and spread itself and barnabas and saul returned from jerusalem having fulfilled the service entrusted to them taking also with them john surnamed Mark. End of chapter 12. Recording by Aaron Holtstrand.